What's up guys, welcome back to another episode, to another horror game, The Memorial Order. It's the first day moving into your new home located in the small, quiet town of Bricksmoor. After living in your new house for a few months, you discover the previous owners have left behind some items that were never meant to be found. What exactly did they leave behind? I haven't a freaking clue, but I'm sure we're about to find out. June 2016, not that long ago, nearly 10 years ago. Scary when you think of it like that. I get a very Stepford vibe. It looks very perfect, almost too perfect. Bricksmoor is a small quiet town surrounded by forests in Yorkshire, in England, where the tea is made. The Yorkshire tea. Not that I drink it, mind you. They've got a VW camper van! I like the effort put into to make it feel like this area is actually lived in. Except this house has no curtains. Except they have upstairs curtains, but not downstairs curtains. Moving day. That's why there was no downstairs curtains. They had just slept in it the night before. Explore you are new home. Okay, my are new home. How do I? Okay, E. Oh, I like the detail going to this. It does feel. Sometimes you play games and the objects are too big or too small to be realistic, whereas it feels very realistic. And I like the fact you've got the moving van outside. Never mind, it's going. Bye, moving van. There goes the moving van. Exactly. Um, I like the fact you have our character has internal thoughts. Um, I do like that. Um, I also would like it if um, we could see ourselves. Um, if there were directions on the controls, because I'm just obviously kind of figuring it out. But this is just a demo in case you hadn't gathered at the beginning. So eh, things are going to be need to be t need to be tweaked slightly. I also feel being able to adjust the um, the mouse sensitivity would be really great. It feels very slidey. Like, I'm turning and then it just stops. Like, hang on. Right, I've turned, I've let go, and it's still sliding kind of thing. But, is it my phone? But, it looks really great, to be honest. I really like it. Can I? I can't run. I cannot run. Oh, lava lamp. I can pick my lava. Oh, I can turn my lava lamp on. Okay, let's go look upstairs. I'm very excited to check this out. Oh, I've got some curtains. That's nice. Ooh, a manky manky bath. Oh. So what am I really meant to be doing at the moment? It just says to explore my new home. I'm exploring it. But I don't know the purpose behind it. Like, why do I feel? Is that my phone ringing? I left it in the kitchen. I already found it. Let's go to the phone. I can't hear it, though. Is that meant to be my phone ringing? Hello? 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 Oh, I've got to press the mouse button. Hello, mate. How's the move going? Are we a man or a woman? I really want to know. It's going well, mate. I presume we're a man because we're saying mate. I still find it strange that everything has been painted white and left so clean. Really? That's the norm, isn't it? You know, paint it magnolia or something and then hope no one sees the, the, the grub behind the walls. That's good, isn't it? It leaves you with a blank canvas you can do what you want with. Yes, exactly that. Tony knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not going to complain with the price I paid. How much did you pay? That's what everyone asks. As soon as you get a house, how much? How much? Everyone's nosy. I know you got a great deal on that house. Anyway, are you coming for a pint? I presume we are a man. I really do. I will buy you one for moving in present. For a moving in present. Ha ha ha. Yeah, cheers, mate. I'll see you in a bit. Nice one. See you soon. You can really tell that an Englishman... I say Englishman. I know it's an Englishman. You can really tell that an English person has made this game. Come on, leave. 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 Go. Go. Streets. Do the streets have a name? Do the streets have a name? Go to the pub. But where is the pub? Who are you? Um, I like the fact there are, I say, people. I like the fact she... The streets are alive with a person, you know, makes it a bit more realistic. But I, I think it would be great if there was arrows or maybe even a map with like a little arrow point to show where you're going. Because I have no freaking clue where the pub is. Ma'am, do you know where the pub is? Ma'am, show me to the pub. 
Okay, I can hold shift to run. I'm that desperate for a drink that I can run. Also, it's nice that this person hasn't got ridiculously fast speed because sometimes you play games and it's like, whoa, check out the sprint on them. Hey, it's this pub. And is it going to be obvious? Oh, there it is. It is obvious. Now, are there going to be any cars? Can I just... Well, that's a super, it's not, it's a jeep. I do like the fact that you do have people running. Like, it, 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 it brings a realism to it. Can I jump? I can jump. Jump. Meditation night. Okay, heavy metal. That's my kind of thing. Go. 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 It's very loud. I'm guessing that's Tony. I do have to say, it's really loud in here for two people. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hi, Tony. Stop stroking my face, Tony. I'm really petite. Two months later, how long I was in the pub for? Okay. Okay. Hey. That's quite a nice painting. You can. I like the fact you see how... Um, uh, it, they've started to live in the house now. You know, put nice, cute dog pictures up. I mean, is that our dog or have we just got random dog photos up? And is that our girlfriend? I presume? I don't know, right? Uh, what are we doing now? It's a nice day out there. I might do some gardening today. Okay. Ooh. Can I, can I, can I? I like that. I like that they've kind of got their old teddy bear. Everyone's got an old teddy bear. If someone doesn't have an old teddy bear, what's wrong with them? Ooh, it was, they renovated it. I like that. I, oh, very nice. Very nice. Right, how do I go to the, oh. Yeah, I like that you're getting the sense of this person's style. Yeah, I do like this. I do like the dark wood. I mean, it makes the room feel smaller in general, but I like, uh, to be honest, that's what my sort of living room is like. Dark wood and a gray sofa. It's my living room right there. Not done anything with that. Not even any spare boxes or shoes. They've done a lot to this house. I wonder how much they actually paid for it to be able to renovate it and all this shit in two months. Right. You say do some gardening. There is no garden to garden. Go to the back garden. Oh, I've got my little my little bit here. Come on, pick it up. Huh? What the? Oh, it's an Ouija board. Oh, I like Ouija. I say I like Ouija boards. I've never touched an Ouija board or whatever. But there's that part of me that really wants to. What are you throwing the bin? No. <laughs> Fair enough. That is logical. Normally you see things where people just like, oh, I'm going to test that out. And it's not very... People don't always do that. So I like the fact that this person's like, nah. What was that? A 2.58 a.m. And again, I like the fact they've got 2.58 because most of the time things aren't bang on 3 o'clock, 4.30 or or whatever. I like that. Ah, oh, the door! Investigate the noise. Sounds like it came from like the kitchen kind of area. It's probably going to be the bin. The Ouija board upturned the bin. That's my guess. That's my guess. I could be wrong. I'm very much wrong. Okay, I'm going to shut my door so no one can come in. I can't shut my doors. Never mind, I'm going to leave everything open. Where is it? Oh, okay. How did that happen? I better clean it up. Right, what, what do I clean? Oh, there's a broom, a brush. Something sweepy in here. Where is it? I saw it, I saw it. There it is. Come on, pick it up. Aha! Oh, okay. There's no sort of internal thought about that. No sort of just still clean it up. It also looks like there's like a little gremlin shadow. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Come on, clean the mess. Clean it. How do I clean it? Oh, what? That's a bit weird. Okay, go back. Well, what? Well, firstly, you're not going to pick that up. And secondly, I, sw I swear, I swear, I swear a chair moved. 
And you're going to acknowledge the flashing light? You're just going to go back to bed? Right, stop. Oh, I don't know. Let's go back to bed then, I guess. Oh, freaking. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go back to bed. I can't go back to bed. Really? I'm still going to go back? No thoughts? Nothing? Okay. Whatever. Let's go to sleep and ignore all the strange happenings after finding an Ouija board the next morning. You managed to get sleep? I wouldn't be able to sleep. No. Okay. Maybe I'm more of a wuss than this person, but... Mm. This person's got some really unusual paintings. Very grand and regal. Okay. Is that my phone? Is it coming? I think it's in the living room. Yeah, there it is. Is it Tony again? Pick. I find the spots very sensitive to find. Pick things up. Yeah, of course it's Tony. Hello, mate. How's things? Yeah, it's going all right, I suppose. Just all right. Well, some strange things have been happening here. Like what? I was in the garden yesterday. And if I... Come on. You go straight to the garden. Not the chair moving or the door slamming shut in your face. Just I found something. Okay. I was in the garden yesterday and found one of those spirit board things just buried in the big planter. No way. Yeah, stuff was banging early this morning. It woke me up. I heard the previous owners were into some weird stuff. Like what? Why didn't you say anything before I bought the place? They're just rumours. I don't know if any of it is true. What did you hear? Just that they were into dark arts, witchcraft. Okay, is it going to be like a satanic -y ritual kind of game wearing long black hooded cloaks and stuff what the f tony i can't live here anymore really you jump you're that you're that anxious about it surely I'd, I'd sort of at least dig up some information to see if it's actually true calm down mate have you checked the attic yeah there's nothing up there but boxes why i bet there's more stuff why well why does everyone go to the attic straight away if something's been buried surely you think there's more stuff in the garden you know like the fred and rose west stuff where they dug everything up and put people in there you're just having a laugh mate. <laughs> i like the conversation i like their vocabulary no really i overheard them talking in the pub after a few pints all about hiding stuff behind a wall up there why why if they thought i'm going to discuss this in public they were probably joking or maybe not if you found something like that buried in the garden all right mate i will go check it out thanks for that Spooky, let me know if you find anything. Yeah, okay, mate, speak to you later. Right, attic then, I guess. Attic, attic, attic. Where is it? Aha! Attic. It's really... Sent you've got to find the sweet spot to open stuff. Attic. In case you didn't know, when we open the attic, we're going into the attic. It's a really tall attic. I like the fact it's been boarded as well. I wish that I could board my attic, but, you know, money, money, money. Flashlight. Oh, I've got a flashlight. I guess it makes sense. Right, so they said behind a wall. Uh, I mean, logic. I'm wedging it. I don't. Maybe this because of. I'm trying to think how the building's laid out in the sense of. Like, it. it, it, it that's the front of the house. In theory, the I imagine the wall wouldn't be there because then you'd have. Like, I, I don't know if it's a room or, or what, but potentially I would imagine nothing would go beyond further than how a room's laid out below, if that makes sense. So I'm going to say one of these walls, logically. Logically. And imagine it wouldn't be the chimney wrist. I mean, I could be, I could be completely and utterly wrong. We're just going to go along each of the, each of the walls. Each of the, oh, there it is. Okay. I mean, it'd be nice if there was sort of maybe a little bit highlighted, but I guess it's not like it's a massive attic. Also, maybe it's like a little bit of a... What have I opened? Ooh. Like a little bit of a giveaway, maybe it's a little bit looser, because if I looked at these, I wouldn't think, oh, that's the door or the switch or whatever. Get off. This is cool, though. Okay. I didn't see them there. I didn't like that. Well, there's the robes that Tony was talking about. That... <laughs> oh, they've got a little light switch up here. Oh, very nice. Um, oh, There's that girl from the loading screen. Wow. Yeah, she is pretty. Ad Adelia? Adelia? Byr Byr Byron? 
the most worshipped grand cognizant of our ancient and honourable order. I think it'd be really nice if that came up as a different font below because sometimes the uh, almost calligraphy kind of writing makes it a little bit hard to read. She is beautiful. Yes, she is very beautiful. Okay, it's bringing it up now. Adelia Byron. The mo okay, forget what I said a minute ago. The most worshipped grand cogn cognizant, cognizant of our ancient and honourable order. Also, if we're English, why is honourable spelt without a U? Ancient and honourable order. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, there's another photo of her. What's this? A letter. It reads, here, I like the old English, yes. Here followeth the true, authentic and competent order of ritual of imitation, the soul and solitary, ceremonial and liturgy, 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 liturgy of the royal immemorial. Immemorial, that's a tongue twister for you. Order of Ophidia, carefully compiled, ostentatiously, elaborated and prayerfully purged of both egg egg Regi egregious I think error and hateful heterodoxy to be celebrated and auspiciously performed by and before the brethren in the recesses of the chimera theatre before or after the full moon ripe for immolation on the order's effligent altar of sacrifice that is very freaking wordy sacrifice royal immemorial order of Ophidia? Is that what? Oh, I didn't even notice the symbol up there. R I O. I probably wouldn't think it was R R I O. I'd probably. Let me say that again. I wouldn't think it was R I two O's. I'd probably just think it was like Rio. I've seen that logo everywhere. I've not seen it. it. Looks like the previous owners of the house were members. It reads here about a performance in the recesses of the Chimera Theatre. Maybe I should check if there aren't any secret rooms. And why? Why is on the end of the stairs? <laughs> why under the stairs? Why have you thought I'm going to look under the stairs? I don't just kind of wear your cloak. All right, well, I don't think there's anything else in here just because it's, as I said, you've got to get a sweet spot sometimes. So I feel I may not necessarily find everything. Well, let's go look under the stairs, see if Harry Potter's there and all that jazz. Where can I get down? How do I get down? Oh. Okay, hang on. How long was I in the attic for? Is that the TV downstairs? I thought we was looking under the stairs. Why aren't we looking under the stairs? And why are we now? I don't understand. Turn off the TV. Hang on, you could hear that all the way up there, but you couldn't when you was coming down the stairs. Shish. Also, who leaves their curtains open like that? You're asking for a burglary. You can see all your goodies. Is that the front door or the back door? I presume it's the back door. Investigate the noise. I don't think this game's going to be very, um... More, more paranormal than anything else. I, I, I don't... Is that always there? Did we always have a tree there? There's no one here. I don't remember a tree. Did we have a tree? Did we have a tree? I don't know. Well, he's not concerned. What's going on in here? Okay. Well. I don't know what I make of that. Shit. Ah! Fucking hell. I've actually got goosebumps. Oh, I didn't like that. I'm like, no, thank you. No. So I've got. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Can I leave, please? No. Okay. Okay, at least they didn't touch my computer. Seriously? Seriously? After all this? 
I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going back to bed now. No. But you wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't. You at least call up your friend to be like, spooky stuff's happened. The next evening. Okay. Like, I... I, I what? Check, so, I'm waiting until the next day to now check the room under the stairs. Why? Why? What's with all this creepy lighting? Well, I've suddenly thought with all this shit going on, I'd better make it feel a bit better and turn all these orange lights on. Right. Right, let's shut this door, maybe. No, I can't. Oh, open what? What have I opened? I've opened the wall, which folds in on itself. Okay. Oh, no, we're definitely having that on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can't go into the curtain. I can't do anything there. Can I run? I can't. Can I? Maybe I can. I don't feel I can run. There's lots of things going on here. I feel rather uncomfy. We have to go down there, aren't we? It's not all... So is this probably maybe the Chimera Theatre? Teddy bear watching something. So all these pictures of very beautiful women. Also don't know why these lights glow when they're not on. Alright, um, okay. What? What? Investigate the noise again. I forgot, I don't... I so investigated that. And then I've gone back to bed. This guy really likes to sleep through anything, doesn't he? I can't turn my flashlight on now. That's cruel. You've destroyed the vase again. I've already had to buy a new one. Okay. Right. Oh, no, no. Nothing is destroyed. I thought it was destroyed. I don't know where the destroyed stuff is. Also, why are the plants flashing? Okay. Well, oh, something. Okay. Something's not very happy. I don't know if I open that or not. Look, so surely this person would leave. I mean, aren't the neighbours complaining about the noise for a start? Get dressed. Okay, really? Well, I guess it depends. Are you naked? Is that why you feel the need to get dressed? Frickin' hell. Look, I just want to put some clothes on and make myself decent. Let me be decent first. Is it going to be behind me? I'd have left the house. So I'd get in, well, I guess as I say, it depends how how decent I was. But I'd be like, nah, 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 I'm getting out in my pyjamas. It's not going to let me leave. I know it's not. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Let me out. Leave. How have I ended up here? don't understand or if okay demo end right guys so that was the demo for the memorial order honestly it was a very interesting game it's left me with so many questions like what the frick is going on and who was that girl i love the snippets of information dotted around as well as all the weird stuff happening in the house i mean i love anything paranormal so the chairs moving and all that was right up my street but there are a few things in my opinion that i feel do need tweaking such as an arrow or an indication or perhaps even a map to show where we're going and i feel some of the characters decisions and actions were 
rather convenient or even random. But putting aside the really niggly bits, it was a really fun demo. I don't believe the Memorial Order currently has a release date, but I'll certainly be keeping my eye open for it. So that is it for today, guys. But if you enjoyed the video, then do let me know by clicking that like button. And if you'd like to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.